Hey dudes, today we're going to talk about manually relinking audio files in Pro Tools. So I'm opening up our import session data session and uh oh, there's some missing files. So you could skip, which would not solve the problem. You could also automatically find and relink, which works sometimes, but I usually have a little bit of a higher success rate when I do manually find and relink. Just to be clear, the only reason why these files are missing is because I've moved this session from my desktop to an external hard drive. So the path has changed and all we need to do is relink the path and everything will be happy again. So I hit OK. I'm just going to open this up just a little bit so we can see a little bit more what's going on. So again, I've just moved it to a new place, which is on this external drive. And there it is, background sesh for final mix. So I'm just going to look inside the folder. You'll see that it has the audio files folder, and I'm just going to double check a couple of things. So there's 18 ambience ocean, 3018-17 forest wind. Um, yeah, it's looking like all this stuff is in here. So great. From here, really all I got to do is just select this folder, hit find links at the top, and now you're provided with some more linking options. So you could just do it this way. You could find by name and file ID, match format, match duration. This is the sort of default that Pro Tools is set at. Nothing wrong with this. The only reason why I'm not going to do it today and show you another uh, method is that this is very, very, very specific. This is only going to be looking for the most, most specific file. And if the file ID has changed the unique ID number of the file, not the name itself. It still could be called uh, ambience, ocean, whatever we have, but maybe it was a copy of that file and a new unique ID has been created. So sometimes you will not have luck doing it this way, and that's why I wanted to show you another way. You can loosen up on these options a little bit by just doing find by name, unselecting match format, unselecting match duration just be brave and you say okay now I'm being clear as to why I'm suggesting to do it this way is because we're literally locating the folder where these sounds are so if you are searching your whole machine manually this is not a good idea because it's just gonna be finding only by name and it could potentially stumble on something with the same name that's a different file and it could all go wrong why this is okay is because we've narrowed the search area and then loosened the linking options. So let's try it and see what happens. Hit OK. That looks healthy. All that it did basically is it made these little link icons that are orange on the side here and then it's sitting waiting for you to do your next step. You just hit commit links. You hit yes. All this has gone away can close this window we don't need it anymore and now you'll see what was once that sort of like sky blue grayed out sort of idea of the clips that were sitting in the session here have now been connected and they work I don't know that was okay all right cool just a quick video just wanted to show you that um, so you can know that for the future hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time <laughs>